Hi, this is Kian once again. Welcome to Prayer Line. Precious one, I want you to know that today is the day the Lord has made will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to get a lot of heat from what I'm about to say. However, I don't really care about it because I'm not a product of people's opinion. Um, this year, uh, year's election is very critical. It's going to be very crucial. However, as much as a lot of people are thinking that they are going to vote in order to change uh, whoever they want to put in power, this election is not going to be determined by humanity, the masses, or the majority vote or whatever. It's going to be determined, I believe, by the powers that be, the unseen forces. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because we are in the end times. We are in the very, very end times. Any moment, any time from now moving forward, our Lord Jesus Christ will be coming. And so the platform is being set for the revelation of the new world order, for the revelation of the Antichrist which even it has already been structures are being put in place as i speak to you right now and so whoever becomes the president now in the united states of america is very crucial is that in the sense that this person has to be able to also help put these structures together for instance the president who whoever becomes the president it will be in his power to determine whether we have to be much more aggressive on Iran or to be weak with them, to trigger war that will escalate with Russia, China, uh, Pakistan, and other countries getting involved, which might, may even lead to the Third World War. Whoever becomes the president will also determine how this um, one world religion and one world currency all these things play uh, put a uh, play out in the country and in the world remember the world sees america as uh, one of the great nations and the nations that um, leads the way even though we, we are losing our um, influence all over the world However, America is still one of the greatest or powerful nations in the world. And so whoever becomes president this year is very crucial because this person may help put in place the new world order and even the revelation of the Antichrist. And I believe that since we are very close to the um, new world order and the antichrist and the soon return of jesus christ i believe that it is the powers that be that are going to determine who is put in place because if it is set for jesus christ to come if it is set for the antichrist to be revealed if it is set for the tribulation to be begin very soon then the man of peace and the structures that needs to be put in place these forces have to come to um, come to play to play their respective roles and it is not going to be by your vote or my vote to determine who comes into power it doesn't mean that you are not going to go to the ballot and vote it is going to be that you'll be thinking in a way that will prepare the platform because you will be influenced by your own ways and think that oh i'm voting for this person because i know he when he comes into power he's going to do this and as you are being influenced and as you are voting what you don't know is that you are indirectly voting into power whoever needs to come into power and finalize what is about to happen you are going to vote vote all right and you are going to have your independent mind but your mind will be being influenced because the powers that be, the forces that be, the spiritual forces that influence humanity will be influencing the masses to make choices 
to begin to set the platform ready to finalize all the platform so much that people will begin to get themselves ready no wonder when you go to um russia they are about to also they are trying to vote into a power um one of their old president who has been in existence uh, who has been a president for a long time putin or something why are they going that direction because this guy has iron hands and so during that time you know he will be able to do things which the ordinary person will not do it so you realize that this presidency is very critical as much as you go and vote you are not going to vote independently because the masses are going to vote into power whoever needs to be in power to get the world ready for the end of everything the end of the tribula the end of this world whoever comes into power he is going to contribute immensely to getting the platform set for the new world order one world religion the great tribulation and also if possible the rapture of the saints because we are in the end times and so i just want you to know that um, as much as people are thinking about I'm going to vote in Ron Paul, Mitt Romney, or Obama, whatever, we, humanity, we the human beings are not going to determine. It is going to be the powers that be. And when I talk about the powers that be, it could be from God or it could be from that Satan who knows that his time is up. And if he, it's it, it, it going to depend on God, what God thinks that if God, God knows that his the time the revelation of jesus christ should come very soon it, it, it's going to play I, I don't I, I don't know but all i can tell you is that whoever becomes the president this year is going to contribute immensely to the new world order new world religion and also the manifestation of the antichrist and the great tribulation and the masses are going to be much more influenced by the forces that be. That's all I can tell you. However, for my own personal take, for this is this is not prophecies. This is not God saying to me. For my own personal take, I believe Obama is going to be the next president. I believe Obama is going to be the next president. And what I can tell you for sure is that there are people who are saying oh we need ron paul because when he comes into power he's going to make sure that um people uh we are going back to our constitution and everything you no know, anyone every one of them every person who becomes a president they are human beings and they are bound to repeat the same old mistakes remember some years ago we rallied after uh, behind obama yes we can yes we can yes we need change when he came what change have we experienced so whether republicans or democrats whoever comes into power they can't really help you only jesus can help you but i tell you the truth president obama according to my own take not prophecies not god telling me but according to my own understanding he's going to be the next president i'm not saying obama is going to be the next president because i'm a democrat I'm a political atheist. I don't believe in the Democrat Obama and I don't also believe in the Republican, whether Mitch Romney or uh, Herman Cain or whatever, uh, Ron Paul, whoever. I don't trust any of the politicians because they are all the same. They think about their own self. However, I believe that the Republicans do not have a strong candidate to stand Obama. And as I told you, whoever is going to be the next president his influence is going to be greatly uh, affect the world in terms of putting the new world religion the new world order and all these things into play and so um it's very crucial but this is my take i'm saying this because that's how i can foresee that the obama is going to be the next president he's going to win his second term in office